What's that? What's that? Oh, this is the worst street in Manhattan. <laughs> this is what? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is like the, yeah, this is the worst. I take this every day. It's awful. So, so I mostly, um, yeah, so I've been using it just for insurance purposes, like in case something happens. But I've taken to, you're actually, would you like to be a guest on my first, on my uh, episode? So, so one thing I like to do this, this whole week, I turn it on, I, I just run it the whole ride, and then I just talk to myself about bike lanes. Oh, cool. About the shit I see, and oh, I, it's like a one person podcast. Oh, I like it. But it's just me, like, talking to myself. And I've been meeting, so this whole week I've been doing it. <laughs> Don't you chat with other bikers though? I do all the time. Uh, not as much, uh, but this is great because, oh, yeah. here we are, I'm gonna, I'll go in you front here. Um, so I'll make a comment about this right. truck. Do you follow on the bike lane? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we might have, it might be like one, one viewer, you know, but, uh, <laughs> oh, wait, I just saw your sticker says the war on cars. So that's, yeah. So I'm, I'm very inspired like by those guys. You know, the podcast, cool. do you know, you know, have you listened to the podcast? Oh, no. Is it good? oh yeah, yeah. It's a podcast. It's, oh, okay. it's great. Um, Sorry, my music started to make the tune. Oh, nice. I talk to myself very loudly, yeah. um, and that has helped. Like, it's one of the. Crazy New Yorker. It's one of the uh, like benefits of of this. Oh. Um, Let me check. Think we can make. 
Very good. So you're, oh yeah, I take this up to, uh, I, I live in Harlem. Oh yeah. So yeah, you ride on a city bike. Where do you drop your bike then? They don't, they don't have city bike uptown yet. Uh, no, no, I'm at 117th. Oh, okay. it's, all, it's all the way up to 125th. Okay. Or 135th, I think they have uh, stations. Um, but uh, if you, have you heard of the app Reported? Yeah, you, but I've, you've I've heard seen of that. people do it, and like supposedly people are now starting to answer that one, right? Uh, yeah, so I, I built that. No so way! That's fine. Yeah, so that's why that's I know so a lot cool. of the beyond the bike lane guys, like, um, oh, that's super cool. and uh, yeah, we're like, uh, you're in cahoots. Building a new app. I, I actually built it when we were, when I never bike. I didn't even bike. It was a couple years ago. Oh my god, and that's then so I, cool. And then I think once, uh -huh. this is something I'll say, I'll be like, you know, this is a red light, but there's a walk signal, and I always go during the walk signal. Well, they so. you know that they okayed this. Yeah. So, we, no one knows when the ordinance is going to go in, but I was like, well, that's enough to hit the news, I'm okay with this. Yeah. <laughs> and I, yeah, I talk about going through red lights, but yeah, like, only when there's nobody around, and I'm not, it's and I'm so like, I've never gotten a ticket, but. Right. Like, oh, are you are you also on Twitter? No, I'm not. I, okay, I, I see a lot of people. I see some people posting there in were that a few people that area. Were giving, yeah, there were a few of us that were like contacting each other on Instagram. They were like, "Did you see this car was here for ten days?" So, yeah. <laughs> oh uh, man. Yeah. So um, just I don't know. So then I tried not to eat the red light. Honestly, I was tracking a lot of time onto your commute. I, was like, I mean, whatever, it's like an extra four minutes, but, um, It's a small... But then I just started doing it again. I was like, there's no... Nobody's recommended for anything. It's probably yeah. the worst uh, offenders. The worst offenders, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. literally we're only doing it for the safest possible reason. Right. You're doing it because you're impatient, like in a car. Yeah. And that's uh, one of the other things. Like, I actually do really feel bad when the pedestrians are like living shit and scared at them because somebody needs a light. Like, I saw somebody run for one today, and this girl was trying to cross the street, and like she had to like really put the brakes on. And I didn't say sorry. So yeah, yeah. People take laws. People do, like, we have very loose traffic laws. Yeah. Not laws, but not laws. Not. There's a social contract. <laughs> There's, I mean... Wow, oh, this is super windy, wow. <laughs> super windy. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, like, a tease of the hurricane, right? It's just like... It's not even raining, so, yeah, whatever. podcast into is interviewing and asking questions to the other cyclists. So what do you love about, how, how long have you been biking for? Just over a year. Okay. And what got you into it? Basically being on the train for too many hours. 
So literally, the New York City subway was so bad that it got you to like. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> it was just to get away from something, not. So I was starting to get annoyed that I was gonna have to leave my house earlier because the MTA was not sufficient anymore. Uh huh. And I really like to get up and run or have fun. Down so, to where? Was, yep, I started commuting in. I would go across town through Soho. Um, you okay? Yeah. Oh. No? no. Uh, shoelace down. Hold on. Let me uh, let me just pull over here. I'll just pull up here over here. <laughs> this has never happened to me. <laughs> I should have just checked my shoelaces before I started driving. Hope I don't get an overage fee because <laughs> how long? <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah, that was it. I just got annoyed, and then at certain points I was riding like just at 90 or 90 plus miles a week just to keep Whoa. Yeah, it was awesome. Wow. Biking is better than the A train. <laughs> better than the subway. Yeah, and I was going to Boulder and I realized every once in a while, like if I'm not running or like outside enough, that I like really start to lose my mind here. Uh-huh. Um, I just also need a certain amount of outdoors for me to be a safe person. So this helps me. Makes sense, yeah. That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> so I I actually have a pretty easy, like the sea is pretty good actually. So it's not the same reason. I started because, um, because uh, just to basically save money because I'm cheap. <laughs> oh, that's great though. So when I got a city bike membership, uh -huh. I calculated, yeah, I, I basically at the same time I switched to a, uh, from a monthly to a pay as you go. Right. So I aligned my rides with um, with the subway, right? So like every ride I take is one not 275 that I'm paying. That's and then I got my company. Service. It's great. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah. And then they opened, you know, then they opened uh, docks near in Harlem. Oh, right. They did docks. And they also, did you ever hear, or, oh, I guess if you don't have your own bike, it doesn't matter. Well, do you have your own bike? Well, so funny, so funny story. <laughs> My wife, so I have two kids, uh -huh. um, and and all of us, we uh, we spent a month in Amsterdam this past uh, back in July. Yep. Uh, basically, two weeks working, two weeks uh, uh, vacation. We had done two weeks in near Amsterdam last year, so we we knew what we were getting to, and we love it. Yeah. We're probably gonna move there at some point. We just like love it, can't get enough. Um, and when we were there, you know, for a month, we just biked all, obviously all the time, but we also had access to a cargo bike, like a, a long john, you know, the box feet. Oh, so, cool. so, which are pretty rare around here, there's not too many. So we just bought uh, an Urban Arrow, oh, I don't know which is happened. like, which is like <laughs> the Rolls Royce of, of like, no, so it's in the front. So it's one of these long, you know, wheels in the all the way in the front, and it's like a bathtub. It's like a bathtub in the front, right? It's really low, but you sit up. It's electric assist. Uh, it's you know a Bosch motor. It's like a real. It's 
the electric assist, so it's not like a throttle. Um, and they're all over the place in the Netherlands. This is really, really common. It's how families get around, right? So we have two kids, got a little bench. Yeah. And it's very, very different. Like, it's not common in New York, but we're gonna street park it. Um, bunch of locks. It's a lot of money, but we've never owned a bike. And like, now we're like taking a really big plunge, you know what I mean? So, so yeah, I mean, I've been bike, I've maybe done 900 city bike rides. So, a lot are. are... Do they give out prizes or something? I feel like there should be some <laughs> uh, like commuter hall of Believe it or not, it's not that many compared to. There's a lot of people who've done way, way more. So, they have the Angel, the Angel uh, bike, uh -huh. um, or City Angels. They have a, basically a program where where you can rebalance the bikes. Like basically they'll give you points if you dock a bike at a place that doesn't have any bikes. Oh, cool. And if you move a bike from a place that has too many bikes, oh, they'll like give you points. And so it's sort of like loosely like, motivating? yeah. Um, for me, like I don't change my behavior all that much. Right. I don't really care that much, but other people have literally trained for like biathlons and things doing this because they'll literally move a bike, bike it and then run to another location and do this like all day long. Wait, why? Who knows about that? Why is nobody talking about <laughs> there, there, were, there were a few articles. Uh, during uh, Summer Streets last year, we weren't able to come this year because we were in Amsterdam, so we were like, meh, <laughs> we're, we're in Amsterdam, it's better. Um, but Summer Streets last year, City Bike actually had a tent and um, they, they had this whole ceremony for the top point earners. And so these are the real people. And it was pretty cool because they're, they all have wild stories, you know? I mean, one person was like, I never really biked before, but then City Bike like opened up down my block and I just got hooked and I was like, I'm gonna earn as many points as humanly possible. And, uh, you know, they're really like inspiring kind of stories, so. So that's fun. Um, and then literally just yesterday, you're by the way the first person I've like talked to on a ride like this. A very very positive uh yeah i'm over doing like the meat bug type thing here yeah we've been here for almost 20 years wow I'm trying to get over that anxiety because I kind of want to talk to people if I ride. If I'm going to talk to myself, I might as well. <laughs> yeah. I also work at sales, so it's easy for me. Like, uh huh. I don't mind. That's your that's your like personality. Yeah. in a subway people don't really want to no. you're not like let's have a conversation in this no. cramped car for it's much easier in new york to have somebody sign up for a conversation that might or might not be five to ten seconds 
Yeah, because you're because you own you are on the mode that gets you away from the conversation. <laughs> that's true. That's so true. Yeah. Last year, when I was riding home, so also this was great. I didn't like really know that you had to refill the tires. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anything. I have a city yeah. bike. I just throw it back in. There. So you have to refill your tires. Yeah. It's it really hard to get down the road. Yeah. So I had forgotten to refill my tires and was wondering why I was. Next to her. There's a there's sort of a saying about like if you're a cyclist and you're also kind of an activist too because you're kind of out there and I didn't know until like I knew and then this year so many people have gotten killed and I haven't had a bunch of time to like specifically do anything but I decided to have to stop to on the bike lane. Uh-huh. Oh so you're on you're on Instagram? Yeah. Oh okay. So you're not like shunned all social media, you're just not on Twitter. Correct. But you're on uh Like bad luck, bad luck. Yeah, but Instagram. It's so funny, but just not. <laughs> no one should be able to search that. So, are you on Twitter? Are you? Are I you am. On? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty. I'm pretty active. You know, uh, bike. Bike Twitter is a a very um, like yeah, therapeutic place. Oh, okay. No, it's like a small, very positive, very kind of helpful group. I find. You know. Oh man. <laughs> there we go. Um, so, but I found like, you know, I was spending too much time just on Twitter, like scrolling through stuff and it just made me angry. And then I was like, I gotta, so I deleted the app. Uh, I still post stuff here and there. Right. Um, I mean, I'm active, you know, on some level, but I, at least I don't have the app on my phone. So I'm not quite as, it's a way, it's just a deterrent, you know? So it takes more friction because I have to go to the mobile website. Oh yeah, well, and right, like, so you're really gonna wanna post It's sort of like a crappy experience. So I'm like, meh, I don't really need to do this. It's not notifying me or anything. I just, right. I have to go to the site if I wanna see it. So, but uh, that's great. Have you, have you attended any of the, or, or have you like, participated? Just, like through time, it didn't work out for like when the events were. I, yeah, um, you know, it was, it's a little challenging with the kids because I have to sort of negotiate that, but uh, yeah, I was able to go to the uh, Critical Mass last Friday. Oh my God, really? So that was Wait, super was that fun. the one where they did like 200 riders? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was hundreds of people. Yeah. It was a big, well, I, so that was my first one. Entire, I was like, shit, I missed the memo because I would have gone. It's the last Friday of every month. Oh, that's right. Okay. And we just, and you just meet at Central, at, uh, sorry, at the, uh, Union Square North okay. and it's like it's like 6 7 p.m. Okay. and like it's super casual there were kids you know families and stuff it was it's like yeah yeah Oh yeah. 
So you like this? You prefer this? <laughs> I do not like this. Uh, I don't mind it, but I don't like that the reasoning was just like, oh, something happened. So now we're going to take out this entire flat path. I think it was it was a response to, uh, you know, some of the uh, somebody hitting a uh, kid. You know, which is which is bad. I have kids. It's awful. These are you know you're talking about cyclists that are going way too fast. But spending a month in Amsterdam, you quickly see like how they manage that stuff. Like you don't you don't just say okay nobody can go there anymore. They would put down like uh, like rumble strips or like any signage of any sort, like paint or or just yeah. This is, means. yeah, this is like um, ridiculous. The the lack of like any kind of, this is one of the things I talk about on my, on my rides oh, yeah. <laughs> to myself. I comment about how one of the things we could be doing is just taking existing infrastructure and adding and just maintaining it. And it's like, okay, like there's literally no signage back there. There's nothing on the ground. And so like, if you want that, you could say, all right, bikes here. People walking there, you could put up sign po you could put up posts, you could put up rumble strips, all kinds of things. Like I get it, there are these packs of, you know, training uh, cyclists that like way they're going way too fast. They're 30 miles an hour probably down these stretches, and that's shitty. Like that's shitty. But like this is like okay, well one of you did this, so we're gonna. You know, we're going to penalize all cyclists. Now all of you have to take this really steep hill. And if you're old or whatever, or you're just like not ready, you're ready for a workout. I am not quite, I don't want to work out of the morning. I don't want to, like, I don't want to as much. So I'm like, I just want to ride and, and look at the water. I just want to enjoy my ride. Now I have to go up into the woods, you know, in a way that like, I wasn't really, like I didn't consult anybody about that. We're just kind of done. Yeah, I, um, think, well, I think that's one of the things that it seems now that I've started to really find it is that it doesn't seem like the right people. I don't know. It's just it feels like a band aid. I'm like, come on, guys. Yeah. just like ding ding and just you get out of my way and I'm like dude the, right. you just should just be slowing down Correct. like don't make me do anything right. I mean it's fine if you want to alert me Correct. but it's not fine if you're like you you're all you're doing is honking you know it's basically the same as just like honking at people right. and like I you know again totally get it right. you're going faster than whatever but I'll tell you that doesn't happen in Amsterdam you know Totally. So yeah, that's the thing that like, they are 50 years ahead of us. Right. If you think of it that way, if yeah. we are basically taking a similar trajectory as them. Uh -huh. um, yeah. And so yeah, no, I've read a lot about this. I'm really obsessed so with this kind of stuff. No, that's really great though. <laughs> um, so wait, are you going to do a podcast? I feel like you should. So, oh, I've been uploading these to YouTube. 
Nobody watches them. I haven't really publicized. It's more like for me and like to give me something to do. I don't edit them. Well, so the reason I originally asked because I've been thinking about getting a GoPro. Yep. And I'm like, am I gonna do anything with it, or do I just want it in case somebody does something stupid? Or like, do I want to send a clip to on the bike lane so people are aware about how insane it is? Yeah. I did my best not to hit a pedestrian today. However, I clipped someone. Oof. And I was getting to 6th Avenue uh -huh. and everybody's in the bike lane. And I am extremely vocal. Hey guys, bike lane. Oh wow. Coming through. I mean, I am very, lots of ringing, fucking move. I don't want to get hit by a car, that kind of thing. Yep. So as I'm gonna, nobody moved. <laughs> and I literally went like obstacle score style, like skoom, skoom, skoom through people. And I clipped the last lady. Oh, I was yeah. like, as I'm going, nobody's gonna move, you fucking assholes, clip. There I go. Oh no. But, like, Wait, did you fall or you just no, clipped just her and kept her. going? Yeah, I mean, move. So it was like a ding. It was like a yeah, fender I just, bender. I think I mostly got her back. But okay. I don't wanna run into anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's the other thing, like pedestrians are a huge problem here. Yeah. Really big. So yeah. I will what's your YouTube thingy? Oh, oh, are you keep? Are you going? You're continuing. Yeah. Oh, because this is me. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm Jeff Novich. Uh, Molly Bunnell. Molly Bunnell. Cool. Yes. Good to meet you. Good I'll uh, I'll find you on Instagram. I'm I'll send you a message. Not that Molly. Oh okay. Yeah yeah, I've seen I'm you. Not the truck. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Very cool. Oh, that was great. That was our first, oh, yeah. first interview. Molly on the bike lane. Molly, who just chatted me up. That was great. I gotta overcome a little bit of that fear and just, oh boy, and just, uh, ooh, wow, I'm a little winded. I'm gonna catch my breath. I think, and then check back in. Hey, good evening. Molly was a good influence. Saying hello to people on my bike ride. Oh, wow. I just got to the gas my ride. All right. Also need to check my city bike. See how far I am with time.
36, uh, 36 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dock here. Uh, um, I think I can dock it on a sixth. That'll be a little easier. HMM 4705 standing in front of his license plate. Conversation is probably recorded. Uh, that wind is so intense. So that's how windy the uh, the Greenway can get. Oh look, a cop on the bike lane. Let's see. Let's see what they're doing. They're certainly not ticketing other people on the bike lane. Wow, UPS? Nice. Not on the bike lane. City bike. And you're not gonna make it home within the time frame. Let's see if this works. 
and it worked. Woohoo! So that just saved me two dollars and I think like 62 cents or something. They charge 250. The great thing about city bike is you have unlimited rides. I'm a big fan of city bike, can't tell. You got unlimited rides, um, but each ride um, has to be within 45 minutes. That's with the annual membership. And if your ride exceeds 45 minutes, that you're allowed to ride as long as you want, if you go above that, it's $2.50, $2.50 per additional 15 minutes that you go over. And so, um, you know, that's pretty reasonable, except if you're trying to save some money from, oh, there's a scooter on, a, on the sidewalk. That is just not, a, not the greatest idea. Um, if you're trying to save money, then if you think about it, if you go 45 minutes and one second, you've just gone over, you charge 250, and bam, you could have just taken the subway. And I think, for me at least, I'm doing the math or trying to save money. And so if you go through kind of all the effort of riding a bike, going through all the stuff, and then um, and then you got to pay 250, it's pretty frustrating. So in this case, we were going kind of slow. Also, it was incredibly windy. And we were just sort of casually chatting, so that's fun. Um, but in that case, uh, I'm gonna play it safe because I don't I don't know if I can make it in four minutes up to the next dock. But I think I probably can, but Alright, bumpy is bing bing bum 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 Let's get through this garbage. The worst roundabout, the worst of roundabouts, they put down sharrows. They redesigned the roundabout and they put down some sharrows. nervous. That would be nice when we don't have to bump our way through this maze of crap on Frederick Douglass. Weaving around cars like this. to be important people and places to be. All right, 
I think I'm gonna sign off here. This is uh, Bike Talk with Jeff. Sorry, New York City Bike Talk with Jeff and Molly today, uh, who is my guest. Not that Molly. And uh, over and out, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.